Almost shift and we got pizza moving boxes or else checkers beats us life is rough here in the depths of space if shit set comes a knocking we shoot them in the face gone cargo And it just asks me why I blew them all away But I feel so great now with Sovereign Cargonia Every round we stand our ground Gun Cargo cooking doctor who's cooking something up with meat so make a food baby a shit the pan baby we could make another cussing recipe we got a hot pot of beans and an order to fill and i know beat space ain't got any chill so Italian soda pop and spicy for me. If you wanna learn good knobs and hang around and see, say hey, who's cooking? Doctor who's cooking? Doctor who's cooking something up for thee? Hand eggplant. And hello, everybody! Um, oh, that is very much cut off. Save. Uh, okay, I might be able to fit one more little character in. Maybe. Okay. Properties. Nope. Wrong. Screw it, guys. We're doing it live. There we go. That looks... ish. It would be. It would be. Um, so, uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people of all inclinations, um, 
It's good to be back. Um, I need that knife again. It's good to be back. I, I'm late because I was going to get something, uh, but that something turned out to be cooking and is should be done now, according to the man who was cooking it. I was going to go get tasso and make tasso and eggs. Um, good to see you too, Diggy. Dig, Digiman and Diggs. Both of the dids, both of the digs are in uh, the shenanigan room. Um, so, uh, I'm making breakfast. Um, what should I start with? I should probably just start with the corn because I can just set it off to the side and forget about it. Well, I make scrambled eggs, bacon, hash browns, and pancakes. We're, uh, we're going all American. Tasso, um, a heavily spiced Cajun ham that is heaven. Um, it is absolute heaven. Um, scrambled eggs. Am I going to do scrambled eggs? I don't know if I want to do scrambled eggs. Because I bought... You know what? I'm going to, I'm going to attempt scrambled eggs and a uh, fried egg. Um, because of reasons. Um, I've got all of this over here. So it is time to get cooking. I'm already late. So, uh, Diggs, got a question for you because um, I haven't asked it in the chat. What is up with the art drive? I've seen it and it's hilarious, but what is it for? Um, Tasso is amazingly delicious. And I am very, very happy that um, Mr. Uh, Mr. Ducks found me a store in my immediate locale that makes it because it is very good. Um, they told us to pay goob, so I pay goob. <laughs> um... I mean, it was, it was a little bit under the weather and a little bit, uh, work, um, made me work on Fridays. So, meh. Oh, Jesus Christ. Why does corn have to be so hairy? I swear, corn is so hairy. Hey, ducky! Unfortunately, I do not have tasso. Um, I uh, I went to the store. I said, "Give me tasso." They said, "Wait three hours. It's in the smoker." I'm just like, I can't. Ducks, why do we think alike? I was like literally in the grocery store. I'm just like, I'm going to make corn mock shoe. Why? Because I want it. Because we're discount foodies. There's an answer for that. Basically, each kernel of corn needs its own strand to grow. Gross. Mm. 
Alrighty. I really do need to set up um, some uh, some music. I need to get a uh, get some of Goats's music going because just making my own noises is sometimes getting a little interesting. Um, all right, where is the little work knife? Come on, little so-and-so. Right there, there's my little work knife. I specialize in saying things that are not as wrong as people would like uh, for me to be. It is so good. I mean, it's not hard. I think all I really need to do is just go onto the internet um, go to, uh, perhaps SoundCloud. Um, search for goats. Um, and digs, this is kind of uh, funny, um, or I need your, okay, we are allowed to just play Diggs's mu or, or Goats's music, right? because I want to listen to things. I will wait for the okay, but now, it is corn time. That is the wrong end of the knife. I am glad that I didn't cut my finger. I'm shaving the corn. birthday to you, Mr. Uh, Mr. Ducks. I did not realize. Ladies and gentlemen, our, uh, our mayor, it was his birthday. And now for the fun part, I am going to milk it. Probably the most interesting part of making the corn is milking the cob. Alrighty, that is 
One cob down. Three to go. Get out of there. So, how have you all been? I've been doing well. Stuff and things are going all right. Life is being life. Uh, doing good. Happy, good morning, good birthday. You should be happy today. Yay. Watching this from a large church while I wait for a client to get to me about two broken parts I'm replacing so I know what frequency to program the new ones to. Uh, just about an hour left at work. Well, I hope I don't make you hungry. Milk it. I'm sorry I do this to you, Maze. Actually, no, I'm not. Get wrecked. Um, fin <laughs> finally back into making proxies there. Alrighty. Lizard, doing good. AFK for work doing. <laughs> Stupid corn. It's literally side corn. I put that corn on its side, cut it off, Makes you want to kill yourself. Wait, what? Grandpa? Blackfire Gaming, thank you for the lurk at work. I just want to get all of this started so that I can focus on breakfast because this is this is what you do you you time your dishes cutting a bit too deep oh no the corn went everywhere And listen, anything is breakfast food. Breakfast is a state of mind. I feel like there needs to be a xylophone sound every time I do this. It's like... Alrighty, so we've got corn. We've got a cutting board. I've got thick cut bacon. How do I open? I have a knife, I don't care how I open it. Uh, 
Alrighty, how many slices of bacon am I going to use? Enough. How many is enough? Yes. Same idea, dick. Hey, that's not nice. I want you to give me all the bacon you have. Wait, hold on. I think you may have misunderstood me. When you heard me say a lot of bacon, or, or all the bacon, I'm afraid, I think you may have misunderstood and thought I meant a lot of bacon. No, all the bacon. I'll have a number 12. Sir, that feeds a family of four. I know what I'm about, son. I never really watched Parks and Rec. I need to. I just know the Ron Swanson memes. I saw one, uh, like, meme commentary on Parks and Rec, and it's like, what would Ron Swanson think of all of the uh, all of this pronoun stuff? And it's just like, he'd probably have his name tag say, Ron Swanson, uh, uh, Ron Swanson, uh, asterisk, 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 uh, asterisk, asterisk, asterisk. And when asked about it, he's just like, look, they want to know my race. And now they want to know my gender and preferred pronouns. No, they already know too much information about me. I'm not giving them that. Which seems to track with what I know about him. Alrighty, so. Let's plug in the bacon machine. Turn on the bacon machine. And get the bacon cooking. Um... Let's also get some peppers and onions all done up goodly for it. Strikes me that I didn't need to do that. Oh, the hell well. You know what? There we go. That's enough. do not really care about changing out knives and or cutting boards from meat to veg but if you want to be professional I should ha I should be using a different cutting board and or a knife do I care not really it's all going to the same place it's all getting cooked In a clan meth weasel patch, yes.
Legendary Bacon Egger, 37k. I thought it was just a myth. No such thing as too much bacon. Really need to rename this cam as the Bacon Cam. Choppy choppy. Just giving it a rough old chop. Because we got bigger and better things to get on doing. All that bacon is too much bacon for me, and that's that, but that's because it's not kosher. I mean... Come live on the wild side with us. No, I'm not going to make you eat anything you don't want to. Um, in the dark future of 37K, there is only pork. I feel bad for this, but Digi, I can only really imagine, I, I, it's just like, every time you mention something about being Jewish, I can only really imagine, um, what you call, uh, John Goodman from uh, The Big Lebowski, just going off about stuff. Um, and, and the dude just being like, just like what the what, what the hell ever, man. That might make me a bad person, but the Leba Big Lebowski is a hilarious movie. You're out of your depth, Donnie. Listen to the bacon. Now, I need to remember. Do not touch my face. Or 
or else I am going to mace myself. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, uh, Maze. That's fine. Get these rinsed. I really don't care, I'm just doing a rough shot. Oh lordy! I don't think I needed to know that. No self macing, been there, done that, was precisely as unfun as it sounds. 100%. You're not there, you're getting drunk. Okay, but if there's any girls there, I wanna do them! Jesus Christ, that was one of the best fucking... One of the best, like, fucking old internet goddamn memes. I have a plus five dagger of Ogre Slaying! You're not there, you're at the tavern. Oh yeah. <laughs> Are there any hot girls there? <laughs> Pork chops and hash browns with peppers mixed in all and season. You can cast, I, I can cast any of these spells on this list. Yeah. What do you want to cast? I cast a uh, magic missile. Oh, okay, okay. At, at what? At, at the darkness. For years after that, I had to tell my players, you get one reference to that summoner video per campaign. <laughs> have you never seen... Have you never seen this? Watch that. Watch that right now. Like, what, what, was this the, uh, post credit scene of the game or something like that? There we are. Hey, 
chicken's hot. I was like, something's burning. Ow, it's my arm. to not happen. Just a very kind of all over chop. Ah! The onion! It burns my eyes! Corn mock shoe is prepared mostly. microwave it for a little bit. Alrighty. So, I've got all of this being taken care of. Let's get some Cajun seasoning. Where's my fucking slap your mama? Do I have, I don't, I just have Tony's and I have slap your mama hot sauce. So, we doing good. Let's get this out of the way because now I am going to do something with potatoes. What's taters, precious? Potatoes. Boil and mash them. Stick them in a stew. Let's 
It's my uh, leftover potatoes from St. Patrick's Day. Um, okay, let's get these eyes off of there. Because that's not good. Let's just peel a couple of these. Yes, I know. my finger. Um, just peeling. I know! Shut up! That's my washing machine, if you can hear that. It's going turbo. Thank you for remembering, Digi.
One more. Ow, that's my finger. Die, potato. Not today. I've got some potatoes. What am I going to do with them? Just you wait and see. Alrighty, bacon has achieved perfect consistency. Let's set some of this uh, onion aside for what you will see. And add everything in. That's about a quarter cup. There we go. There we go. Simmer down. Da, 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 simmer down. I will approach it wary, warily. Oh my. Friends pending, accept messages. Okay. Alrighty, so letting that cookify, I am going to gratify, shredify some potatoes. These potatoes are dying.
Love the hat. Thank you, Theseus. Also, thank you for your very first uh, chat. Welcome to the WBPL. We do games, we do cooking, we do painting, we do shenanigans. Gonna be making browns of hash. I have to be very careful. with grating. There we go. Yeah, come on. The potato is fighting me. It doesn't want to die. Oh, shit! You're the don't press the button guy! Oh my god! Hello! Hello and welcome to the WBPL! We, uh... We are very uh, intrigued that um, that you found Ducks and got him to be the voice of your game. You are you are a madman. How in the hell did you find ducks? That's more or less what he said as well. Please, Ducks, describe these wild coincidences. Hey! Put your pants on. I think getting pantsed is the opposite of what you just did, Maze. And here I am, just rubbing potatoes against metal. Gosh darn it. Time, time, I got time. Yeah. 
There we go. This feels weird to do. Come on. It's also very narrow. The only ow, reason it looks so big is because of this giant porthole. I assure you, off to the sides of what you can't see, it is very, uh, um, not clean. Oh, my. Mr. Uh, Mr. Theseus, I am cooking breakfast and corn mock shoe. Corn mock shoe is a Cajun dish. Best described as alchemy. It involves bacon, how much? Yes. Corn, also. Um, peppers, yes. Jalapenos, yes. Um, also, spices, how much? Also, yes. You cook those all together until you can't stand it anymore, and then it's gone. We had about 40 people in a house this, uh, we had about 40 people at um, one of our good friend's houses this November. Mr. Ducks made like a double, triple portion. And... It didn't last like 20 minutes. So I'm just gonna let this stew down for as long as I can stand it. Alrighty, so I have potatoes. I now need to run them clear. Gotta get those drained a little bit. Oh no. Alrighty, that's good enough. I 
I'm going to transfer this onto a back burner so that I can use this for uh, hash browns. Let's get that right there. Let's not. And say we did. Okay, so what pan am I going to use? I am going to use this one. Okay, so here, what dust I need? Happy little hash browns. Let's toss in an onion. Now we need an egg and some flour. need two eggs. Definitely two eggs. Get some flour. So one tablespoon is going to be a quarter of a cup. Alrighty, beat the devil out of it. Um, let's add in some Cajun spices. How much? Yes. I need cutting board back because I'm going to cut up <laughs> some ham. Why? Am I no nah, coughing? I don't know. There we go. Toss this into the potatoes. There we go. Bring the potatoes back. A fork and beat the devil out of it. What does Cajun mean? Um, woo, woo.
That's a big question there. Um. So, down in Louisiana, there's a bunch of people who live there. There's the Cajuns and the Creoles. The Cajuns, to my recollection, were banished out, or were French people who were banished out of Canada, sent down to live in Louisiana, and kind of turned everything into their own thing. They're kind of a mix of French and Native American kind of stuff. Um, then Creole is a mix of, it is a mix of those French people, the Afro, uh, 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 the Caribbean, uh, Caribbean Afro, uh, immigrants and lots of, uh, Native American, um, do not call a Creole a Cajun, and do not call a Cajun a Creole. Um, they will fight you. Um, both have delicious foods, some of which is named the same thing, but prepared wildly differently. Uh, Cajuns are displaced French that were originally sent to Canada. They left Canada and moved south, the Acadian area in Louisiana. Very swampy wooded. Cuisine is a blend of many different culture and regional styles picked up along the way. Creole is a mingling of, yeah, some of that stuff and various uh, Afro... Afro-Caribbean slaves, um, natives, just lots of blending. Mix it up. I think I may have made a bit too many hashy browns. Oh well, more for me! How you doing? All right, you have cooked down quite deliciously. Let's put some cream in you. How much? That much. Let's get these hash browns made. Totally download an order of hash browns. 
<laughs> you and me both, man. Alrighty. Hmm. Chicken. <sighs> Waiting for that to warm up. Now, let's put the put the bacon in a uh, thing. think you can. They they fall apart too much. Alrighty, so let's get some breakfast. Come on. Get into breakfast. Pancakes. There we go. Yes, it's totally washed. Don't worry about it. Hash brown patty is a squished tot. <laughs> Fun fact about Bulgarian literature, one of the most famous books of ours is called To Chicago and Back. Yapa goes to America and comedy ensues because it's like going into a sci-fi world. <laughs> what? That's great. Alrighty. Um, let's see. One and a half cups of lovely jubbly flour. Oh my god, this is maddening. The author wouldn't have made it back. One. Two. Three. Ugh. That really can't be three and a half cups of baking powder, can it? 
It's not. It's three and a half uh, tablespoons, right? I think he makes pancakes a little bit later. Yeah, three and a half teaspoons is what he means. I need some sugar. Damn it. There's another hole in it. Fuck. Look, don't ask no questions. Tablespoon. cinnamon let's put you on off because you are done let's get a tablespoon of cinnamon all righty so this is all ready to go for the plates. All right, let's get you mixed up. We've got a little bit of cleaning up to do. One and a third cup of milk. Where is he? Where is he? Right here. third cup of milk. I have no idea how I'm going to flip that. Carefully. 
he says. Tablespoon or teaspoon of vanilla, which is somewhere over the rainbow. I need another egg and some butter. How much butter? Yes. And that needs a bit more time. Uh, how much butter? Three tablespoons. just going to have to half it. There, they're flipped. There we go. Woofy doofy. Um, that's waiting. Where is right there? Everything is going fine. that in there. Now let's mix up some pancakes. Pancakes. Let's put the lid on the corn mock shoe. Time, three o'clock. Sweet. Okay. 
big is perfect. There we go, leave some lumps in it. Let's get this. So that I can clean this. jubbly. Hands clean. How we looking? I'm pretty good for the first round. get those off. so y'all can see my lovely face. Um, okay, okay. Let's get the pan. Heat you up. Let's get the third cup. Let's get the half cup filled with a bit more oil. This is a great idea. I tell you what. Let's get another flipper for the pancakes. Let's get a plate for the pancakes. I feel like I need to, uh, Put stuff away. And in fact, I do. Alrighty. I've got a lot of dishes to do. Alrighty. So. Yes, yes you do. Alrighty, what Theseus has uh, up and left us? Shame, he's a good guy. Everybody, do not press the button or else you will delete the multiverse. go.
Alrighty. I've got a pancake. I've got more hash browns. If it wasn't supposed to be pushed, it wouldn't be a button. <laughs> Hello, ball work. All right, so the Cormac shoe is all good and ready. I've got even more hash browns browning. I've got a very nice looking uh, pancake pancaking. So yeah, life's going good. Life is going good. How long did it say to cook these hash browns for? Hmm. Five minutes. We'll see about that. I mean, it's cooked. Mm. Good crunch on them. Perhaps this was a little bit big of a pancake. Or perhaps this pan just needs to warm up. Yes, the pan just needs to warm up. So, now we're cooking. go. Just a really flat Yorkshire pudding. Perhaps. There we go. Ooh, that's a good one except for all of over here. Alrighty. a good one. That's another good one. Yeah, it could be better.
Oh, that is wonderful looking now. another plate and look at just how glorious this pancake has become still a little bit needs to cook in the middle but the pancake is pancaking No, that's good. Oh, wait. Pam. Probably not necessary because this is a very nonstick pan, but it helps. There we go. Get the cooking. Maple syrup. Let's just keep that cooking and let's pancake these cakes. I'm not going to do scrambled eggs. I don't have the time. Well, I do, but I don't want to. This has taken up quite a bit of my energy. So I'm just going to uh, fry an egg. That's a good one. That's a very good one. Good browns. There's a reason why the recipe calls these happy little hash browns.
because they just kind of uh, don't. Alrighty, I've got enough for one more. Whoa, that's really puffed up. Ooh, that's good. Let's get another one going. Let's get the Pam down. There we go. This was perhaps a very unwise idea. But when have we been known for good ideas? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, these pancakes are glorious. Alrighty. This, I'm just gonna cook until it's fucking done. I'm just gonna let that be, unless I fuck with it. The better it's gonna be. Mm. Let's give that a little bit more time. Yeah, that definitely needs more time. I'll make the rest of those pancakes on my own time. And perhaps I shouldn't have made so many hash browns. But, food for later. Alrighty. 
Alrighty, there we go. Let's get a little bit of oil in here. Actually, I changed my mind. Watch me do what I shouldn't do. And, uh, that goes in there. bacon. Knife. Cut in half. There we go. There we go. I've got a lot to clean up. And then put your hot sauce back. That's a good one. That's not so. Uh, uh. There we go. Side corn with hash browns and bacon pancakes, yes. Good thing I was eating dinner the whole time watching this. I'm still drilling, but at least I'm not hungry.
done do I want the bacon? Yes. And you'll notice that there is still bacon grease in the pan. I want it there. I'm going to use it to help cook. Oh, the egg is broken. Ideally, there would be a little more grease that I just spoon on top of the eggs. And just cooking up some nice fried eggs. Okay, let's get some toast going. Should have gotten that toast going a little bit late earlier. Mr. Uh, Grimos. Yeah. All right, that is done enough. that over there. Boom. 
how we look in here, darling. You know what? Mix it all up. Get everything nice and cooked all the way through. going to let that be over on the side. Toast is done. Jubblies. This is going to get pushed out of the way. This is all going to go right there. Pop this in for like 30 seconds. Let's get a knife. Cut my bread. Get some maple syrup. Ladies and gentlemen, I am missing but one thing. Give that a little hit of heat. And ladies and gentlemen, I believe it's breakfast time. I'm just going to put all of these hash browns in a big old bowl and just eat, just portion it out throughout the days. So, ladies and gentlemen, breakfast a la Doctor Who. Here we have pancakes, fried egg, toast, bacon, hashy browns, and the corn mock shoe. Let's give these hashy browns a nice little taste. I mean, they're cooked all the way through. It's just perhaps next time 
I should use a little bit less when making them. So they do cook all the way through and they all just kind of uh, stick together. Or perhaps that's an egg and flour thing. Perhaps I needed another egg. It's very good. Mm. Got nice little, nice little crunchy bits and nice little soft bits. With the, uh, with the onions and ham in here, I do believe if you go to a house of waffles, this is smothered and chunked. Yes. Because covered is you put cheese on it. And I always get mine smothered, covered, chunked, and peppered. Jalapenos, onions, ham, and cheese. I can't stop eating. I'm hungry. Mmm. Maybe that might be arranged. Mm. All right, let's get that out of the way. And here we are with the pancakes and everything. Let's try some of this bacon. I mean, it's store-bought bacon. It's still very good. Mmm. Yep. All right. Let's somehow transfer you right there. And I do believe I'm done cooking now. Now this comes the cleanup. <laughs> very good. Um, alrighty, so the bacon is very good bacon. Let's try some of these pancakes. Perhaps I should have put some butter on here, but eh. Very, very thick, very puffed up. Very slightly sweet because I didn't drown it in maple syrup. Mm. Perhaps I should only have put two on this plate. Very good. Very yummy. Alrighty. Time for some, oh yeah, that's that's a perfectly done yolk. Sop up some of that yolk. Mm. The other one broke, so I'm not quite as concerned about it. I mean, I'm upset, but what can I do about it? I can't go back in time and put it back together. Good toast. 
Good eggs. Tastes like bacon. And finally, the corn mock shoe. Seems to be more bacon than corn at the moment. Bottoms up. Oh, it's so good. Oh, it's so good. I should have, I, I could just make this every day and be happy. Hmm. Oh, it's so delicious. Oh. Mm -mm. oh. It is so, so fucking good. I don't know what it is. But this just screams comfort food to me. It's sweet. It's savory. It's spicy. It fills me up and warms me up. Mmm. And I gotta be careful. I've only got so much of it. Mmm. Mm -mm. All right. Let's let that be. I've still got a bunch of food I need to eat. And a kitchen I need to clean. Ah. Uh. So, on that very happy note... I also haven't drank anything all day. Let's get some water really quick. That is ice, not water. What is ice but frozen water? All the niceties out of the way, all the food having been consumed. It's been really good getting back and cooking with y'all. Um, I'm looking forward to continuing it. I think next week I'm going to make a fuck ton of gumbo because the these jars say... That time is uh, fast approaching. And I just feel like it like there needs to be more gumbo in the world. I am going to do andouille, tasso, chicken. Oh my god, it's going to be so fucking delicious. Um so yeah. Thank you one and all for coming, for supporting the WBPL. For hanging out and just being cool people. Stryker should be coming up in about an hour on his art stream. We've got all sorts of different stuff for any new viewers to check out. It's not just cooking. And I think with all of that, this is Doctor Who's the Chef, wishing you a very pleasant Friday afternoon, morning, evening time. Stay safe out there, and hail Cargonia. And the stolen things obey the quartermaster unless he's a link. Miners don't die today. Our protest was freight. 
Enemies. Our enemies in disarray. All hail Cargonia. Get back to work.